Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again and if you remember in the previous episode we played as Lilith and I got the Sun Bond trinket from the Cursed Collection made by Prian. And that is a trinket that made all of our familiars inherit our tier effects and I had the little idea to make a mod that just makes that trinket effect part of Lilith as a character where she always has it where her familiars gain all of her tier effects as well as starting with the Childly Shrinker and guess what I messaged Prian and within an hour of messaging him he'd already made it and here it is Lilith rework if you want to go onto the workshop and look it up it is available to download now and we are going to play another Lilith run despite just having played one we're going to play another and see if we can kind of show this mod off a bit and wow okay planetarium right off the bat that's interesting um, also the ability to reroll right here, which is real nice. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm going to be trying to show this off. Uh, I, I sort of, ooh, a key right away as well. I made the thumbnail and description for the mod and obviously Prey and coded it and uh, uploaded it to his mod workshop. And yeah, it's, it's out and available now. So go and, uh, go and check it out. Sort of, uh, as I said in the, we got a uh, plus one coin, bomb and key, all hearts, coins and bombs, 25% chance, chance to spawn as a better version of the pickup. Chance to gain holy mantle shield when taking damage. Okay, pretty good. Um, oh, I like the visual effect of it as well. Pop another coin in there. Um, yeah, I kind of said in the description, it's just one of those characters, we kind of talked about it last episode as well. One of those characters where, like... She just doesn't really have a gimmick, to really. Like, you can kind of say that the, um, the, the blindfold, her not shooting and having Incubus shoot for her, is her gimmick. But I don't really think that counts. Because basically the only thing that does, the only thing it changes, is it adds that annoying delay to you shooting at enemies where you're... Incubus lags behind you. It doesn't really add anything to gameplay. It just makes things a little more difficult in a kind of unfun way, in my opinion. Um, and uh, and yeah, and the the only really unique thing about her is her active item. And when the active item is, it's not like Void where it's different each time you use it. It's the same thing each time. It doesn't really have anything that unique about it. And it's just kind of a, a pretty underwhelming gimmick for a character, especially considering it's not a pocket active, so you can't trade it away, really. Uh, so now, although you the, the, the Box of Friends issue is still te technically a thing, now there's way more of a reason to actually keep it, because for one, you're not having that big lagging behind issue because of the Charles Leash being uh, gulped immediately, but also, you now actually inherit tier, your, your familiar is actually inherent your tier effects. God damn it. God damn it. These things are so good at hitting me. Um... So yeah, now you can actually uh, enjoy the familiars a little more often. It makes Box of Friend, or Box of Friends, way more viable and, and interesting. And do you know what? I'm very annoyed that those dudes stole my um, stole my heckin' what's it called? Oh god, uh, charges. Anyways, let's go back. Try and re-roll Dead Tooth into something a little more exciting. Like the black beam. Hey, brother Bobby. That's fantastic for us. Because now we have another familiar that can inherit our tier effects. It's a really good start. Okay, very happy with this. Brother Bobby is a basic familiar as well, so it's gonna we're gonna hopefully, if we get some tier effects going, see some real change to Brother Bobby here. Right, try and use the poops as a little bit of a blockade here. Ooh, also, a uh, question of the day today. I've been thinking of this one for a little bit. This is one that I feel is quite a common one. I've heard other people ask it, kind of like, I think Alexa's asked a similar question in his uh, video, one of the ones I was watching, but this is the one that I'm going to stick with today just because it's kind of on my mind right now. What is your favourite sandwich? I've been making a lot of club sandwiches in my cast iron skillet recently just because I love that thing and I've just been cooking with it loads. I've uh, been like doing sourdough bread with um, pancetta and bacon, a uh, bit of chicken breast. Oh, it's been, it's been heavenly. It's been so good. So I'm just kind of in the mood for sandwiches right now. And yeah, um, what is your guys' favorite sandwich? And also, if you had all the ingredients laid out in front of you, do you prefer to make it yourself or do you prefer to go out to like a deli and buy it? be really interesting to see what people uh, say on that because I'm kind of a bit of both. I really enjoy cooking and making my own food. So if I have the ingredients, I do prefer to make it my own. But buying a sandwich from a deli, especially like if you've got a good deli near you, oh, it's unbeatable. There used to be this deli uh, next to my house, next to my parents' house, that um, 
that, like, it was kind of like Subway, where it just had a bunch of stuff and you could kind of just pick and select and make what you want. And I used to get turkey, bacon, and coleslaw sandwiches, and oh my god, they were heavenly. Ooh, marked. Marked is kind of an interesting one. I'll take it, I'll take it. Because marked does in, does in fact affect your familiars, so... I think, I think this could be kind of unique, and especially with uh, Box of Friends increasing our familiar count on occasion, I think it's going to be pretty good. Obviously, it leads to a little more firing issues, but the, the issue of, li uh, the, of your familiars lagging behind you a bit kind of goes away. Wow, that's a lot of spiders. Yeah, it kind of goes away and doesn't, doesn't really act as much of a problem. Let's go into this double key room as well. You quite often get keys back from them. There's only really like two layouts for this room that I know that are bad. That's not bad at all. Bit of money. Refill by donation machine between episodes as well. As you can clearly see, it very much needed doing. Very, very much. So it is done. I mean, with the donation machine change, I was still going through my donation machine like crazy. I was bombing it basically every episode. And this is one of the reasons that I never got the backlash with the donation machine change when that came about. Because I think the donation machine is still very strong and very, very useful. Well, we're getting a lot of golden chests on this on this floor here. It'd be nice to get some keys. Damn it. Is this an XL floor? No, it's not. It's just a big floor. It's a very big floor, actually. Wow. Okay, this stony is going to be problematic. Most definitely. Oh my lord, yep. Yeah. Not much I could do about that hit. God damn, yeah, the stony is a real pain in the ass right now. It's a lot of fire. This is a hard room. Long floor, lots of golden chests, hard rooms. What the hell's going on? Ooh! <laughs> Honestly, though, I have been rewarded. Not only did I get a black heart that gives you the damage up, the half black heart, but also... Got a soul heart as well. Really, really can't be upset about that at all. Uh, no, thank you. Right. Pop in here. Oh, ho, ho. it's the cursed gurglings. Although, we do have an absolute wall of shots that are coming at these guys. So, I really don't think they're going to be all that hard. Really, really hoping we get some unique tier effects here. I am going to go devil deal just to try and get some of those unique tier effects. Health up really helps with taking devil deals. Also, more familiars in here. Or plan C. You know, bit of plan C. Everyone loves it. God damn. I really, really like this with Marked, actually. Oh, this is annoying as hell. Oh, dude. Marked is making this so much harder. We're getting a lot of soul heart drops from chests right now. It's kind of bizarre. But yeah, marked is just an item that I that I feel, especially in Repentance, is so much better than it was before. It's still a little inconvenient and can be a little annoying. And yeah, if you take it later on in a run, it can ruin certain runs. But I think if you kind of take it off the get-go and you're like ready for it, you know what you're in for sort of thing, it's actually a pretty good item, especially on a Lilith run because it affects all your familiars. Because normally, your familiars, um, especially if you've got like a, a big queue of them, if you've got a lot of familiars, your f where you fire doesn't really affect where the familiar fires, but with this, it's kind of like King Baby, where they all kind of shoot towards the enemy. I mean, you can do stuff like this as well, where you just place the marker a mile away and just line yourself up with the enemy. It makes it way less tedious to aim. Uh, lots of pennies. Another tinted rock. We are getting pretty lucky with the health right now, which is great. Because like I said, I'm going to try and take devil deals whenever I can. Uh, spawn one item from a current room's item pool. Turn one red heart. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll do that. Is that another tinted rock? Wow. I realize I didn't have to use a bomb to unleash that bad boy. But oh, shit. There's an invisible guy down there. Did not see you. Do you know what? This is a, a worthy box room. A lot going on in here. Check this real quick. If I get... I guess if I had more red health, I'd definitely play that out. Just because I feel like... Um, Camden Conception proccing from that could be really good for us. What the hell? There's a coffin. What the 
fuck is what the hell I'm confused what does the coffin mean what's the coffin <laughs> I've never seen a coffin before I'm, I I know it's from repentance plus but I don't know what it does let's uh let's maybe go and have a little a little peruse of the interwebs repentance plus mod and see if we can figure out what the hell this thing is um I'm gonna guess it's in pickups and other yeah, okay, coffin. Can only be encountered in a number of secret room layouts, usually in packs of multiple coffins. Requires two bombs to be blown open, similar to a bedroom door. 45% chance for nine burn orbitals. 35% chance for three burn hearts. 20% chance for two burn-related uh, items. And, um, okay. Okay, cool. Okay, so we just want to bomb it twice. And we got two burn related items. Nice. We got rock bottom too. <laughs> well, this is a run. This is a run I can get behind. Okay. This uh, this one's got some sauce baked into it. Never seen one of those coffins before. Very, very cool. Potentially a little strong, but I suppose it was it was a low chance. And it did require two bombs, and they can only appear in secret rooms, which in uh, technically increases the amount of bombs required by one. So actually, I think that's pretty good. Leo. Leo's not very good for us, but I will take it just because it allows us to do this. I think Leo's always one of those ones that I, for some reason, remember it being a speed down, even though it's not. I think it's because, um... Thunder thighs is, and that gives you the same the same effect. It just kind of the they both just associate with the same thing in my head. But yeah, rock bottom. We'll see how that ends up affecting us. We'll see where that takes us. I'm I'm lo I'm fishing for red stew right now. I mean, you know it. I'm fishing for red stew. Fish. And you shall receive. <laughs> the predictor has come forth. Get this rock out of my way. So, now we need kidney stone. Red stew and kidney stone are like two of the best items you can... Ooh, see, you can possibly get with... Um, with... Rock bottom, but getting getting um, red stew on the same floor we got rock bottom, and literally like asking for it and then receiving it, pretty good stuff. Grab that. Goat head's really good for us here. I don't really care too much for too spooky. While it's not a bad item by any means, I just don't really see it being that good considering we've now got goat head and can trade our health away on the next floor for something pos potentially better. Yeah, this is like one of the better runs I've had in a while. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm just amazed. Oh, god damn it. I actually got rid of you. I... God damn it. I despise these... I, I'm saying the word despise a lot recently. Maybe a bit too harsh of a word, but I really don't like those rooms. Rooms that require you to use grimaces to complete the room when they're like randomly triggered is just annoying. Ooh, beautiful. Mum's eye. Okay, this is our first um our first tier effect. As you can see. Let's see if let's see if it's working here. Actually, hmm. Mum's eye might not trigger, actually. I'm just trying to see if Brother Bobby is ever uh shooting tears at the back of his head. It doesn't look to be, actually. Maybe that's one of the familiars that it doesn't work with. Um sorry, one of the tier effects that it doesn't work with. Because I suppose technically it's not a tier effect, if I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'm in a horrible spot right now. Come here, you. But yeah, the, the familiars have been slightly overshadowed by rock bottom, but... You know how it be. When you get rock bottom red stew... It go hard. 
We'll check in here as well. Hey, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Getting hit a lot more than I should be right now. Pack this boy, see what we get. Damn. Right. Where is our kidney stone? It's in this run somewhere. We know that for a fact. We got red stew. It means this run is truly blessed. We will find it. Health is looking a little... Eh. Be a little, uh, a little bit more careful here. Right. Item room. More familiars or more tier modifiers, please. Or just kidney stone. All of the above will suffice. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. The amount of damage we are unfolding upon enemies. Truly, truly epic. The, uh, the burn spares is doing a real good job as well. I love burn spares. I don't know what... There's a lot of people that seem to really dislike burn spares. I really don't know why. It, like, apart from the weird bug that it has on the beast fight, where it can knock the, uh, where it can knock the, the bosses around a bit too much. Other than that, it's got literally no downsides. I will take a rosary. Definitely clears up my health concerns. Right. Let's get gone. Let's see what our devil deal and boss item has to offer. But yeah, so far we've got a nice little familiar train. Of course, um, Dry Baby isn't going to inherit any tier effects because he doesn't fire. But he's, he's still just chilling though. He is still just chilling. Yeah, that was <laughs> demolition. Man got destroyed. We got uh, the mum transformation as well here. Unfortunately, Krampus fight isn't exactly what we're looking for, but we could end up getting a lump of coal, which we didn't. Doesn't matter. God damn, the amount of devil deals that don't that don't have items is too high. <laughs> right, onto Necro. No matter what happens in this run from now on, it's going to be a good run. Let's see if we can get an item out of this. Damn. Hoping that maybe we could get an item out of that from, um... Let's go into the Keshrim. From... What's it called? Ooh, this is a tricky one. I will try and push this out from the spikes. There you go. Play it a little bit. Okay. We just got shared straight away. <laughs> shade is... Shade is whatever. Shade is not good, but it's not bad. When did our red tears disappear, by the way? Like, why did we have red tears for a little while? And then they disappeared. I don't know when that happened. Stompy should open stone chest, right? I feel like that's a reasonable request. More money. Very good. Why do those hanging bones look like compound fracture? <laughs> Right, oh my god, burn spares, it's popping off. Another mimic chest. I've got to try the mimic chests just because, yeah, there you go. They can uh, give you, um, leprosy. They can give you on damage effects now from my, uh, mod that I made. Well, that, that Pedroff helped me make. He mainly did most of the work. <laughs> it's same as this mod for Lilith, really. I just had a cool idea and... I got people that are more knowledgeable than I to, to help with making them. And I'm very glad that they did. I feel it's uh, made some really cool mods. But yeah, we did end up getting an on-hit effect trinket. Unfortunately, no on-hit effect item from the Mimic Chest, but... Or Spike Chest, should I say, but... Not bad overall. Well, hello, sir. Sadly, not really what I was looking for. I thought after the last amount of money we got, we could go and spend some, but apparently that was a pipe dream. And that was a golden penny that procs twice. Okay. 
Looks like we're not going to get too many more tier effects in this run, but Devil Deal still has a chance to uh, still has a chance to give us some give us some gold. Right, craft that. Gimme, gimme. Keep it moving along. Yeah, that one secret room was uh, was quite the special something, wasn't it? Crack that again. Boom. Bow. Don't really know what's, what's all up with that room, but I'll, I'll leave it be. Ooh, iron blocks in this room. Okay. You are very dead, sir. We do get a familiar here. Not really one we're looking for, but we get one nonetheless. Rotten baby. We get rotten baby here. Which gives us conjoined. Yes, that's what kind of what I was looking for. I like it. Okay, we've got some good stuff going on right now. Okay, and Conjoint didn't, didn't give us any stats down, because it quite literally can't. Very awesome. But yeah, we are at an absolute steamroll right now. Steamroller, just destroying everything. Ah, oh, god damn it. Guy was very, very close to me. We're getting a lot of spike chests. I'm going to keep trying them. I realize that my health isn't exactly great, but I'm going to keep trying them just because I want to try and get items from them, just because I think it's cool. <laughs> the fact there's a reason to open them now makes me happy. Even though I don't really need on-hit effects for this run. I suppose the, the work world can be in conception, so it's not a bad thing. Can you stop, sir? Dude, 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 dude. You're going to have to stop. You have to open your face at some point. Wow, one penny and a troll bomb. Get ourselves a cracked key here. We could try and uh, pilfer some stuff out of boss rush here. I will definitely do that if I can. Let's just try and beeline it to the boss now, shall we? I can come back for all this stuff, so... I will check this though, why not? The poop. Good. A horse pill. Ooh. Oh, we can't I was just about to say that's gonna be really upsetting, but it's not because we can't get lockdowns. Stats down don't affect us at all. It's actually very, very nice. <laughs> Like, I think uh, that's some of the stuff I forget about with Rock Bottom. You, you always think of, like, the really powerful, uh, like, the really big examples of Rock Bottom being insane. Like, like with Red Stew, stuff like that. But you kind of forget about the more minor things of, of Rock Bottom, where bad pills don't affect you anymore. Um, get, getting conjoined doesn't give you a stats down anymore. Just basic little stuff like that. Very happy with that. More Devil Deal fodder for us. I don't know if we're going to make boss rush. Okay, we should. We should. I was about to say, it, it depends how many rooms there are between us and it, but looks like we should be okay. Okay, we got a little bit of time left here, so let's just take this. Go in here. Brimstone bombs is good enough. I'll take it. We'll check this out. Piercing. I think piercing is probably the best thing for us here, and this will affect our familiars. So. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Just died immediately. Also, I was going to just dip out a boss rush, but it's too fun not to. Yeah, you can see, look, little brother Bobby firing his little, little piercing tears. It's great. It's so cool. Yeah, we also get another right amount of doing this, so why not? Ow. Holy mantle has been destroyed. But this is going to get real crazy real fast. <laughs> We've already got a lot of damage, but there's going to be a lot more familiars joining the crew. I mean, it's already lagging a bit right now. We've also got golden bombs with brimstone bombs, which I think we should be uh, trying to utilize as much as humanly possible. Despite them not going in the direction I want them to at all. Ooh, also, I forgot, we get Bandage uh, Girl doing its thing.
Mark is also helping my fingers not be completely destroyed by this, which is nice. Destroyed, boy, destroyed. Oh, this is just beautiful. <laughs> just so many tears. Also, I didn't even notice. Look at all the shades. All the shades just making their rounds. Good. Oh my god. I mean, even just the rotten baby uh, is creating just a ton of flies for us here. Yeah, no, 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 no dingle. No dingle. I don't want you doing your thing. Yeah, we should have like two or three more waves left. It's hard to tell when the game's this laggy, like how many waves you actually have remaining. You're kind of at the mercy of the game now, so it's just kind of like, eh, we'll see. I think we've got two bandage girls now, maybe three. We're just creating this absolute wall of tears. There you go. We got Ares, unfortunately not really what we were looking for, but still not bad. Oh, we got Spurred, though. Nice. Spurred could be interesting. In fact, Spurred might be pretty overpowered with the setup we've got right now. Spurred is, of course, the transformation that you get um, from the Andromeda pack for having three plan uh, planetarium items, or three star sign items, of which we do. We have Leo, Ares, and one of the modded ones from the actual planetarium itself. Right, we did say we were going to check out the shop, didn't we? So let's go and have a little look at that. See what that has to offer. Do you know what? Bad options ain't bad. Good stuff. Right, I also sh should try and use my cracked key somewhere. I'm really not sure where's the most optimal place to use it. So I'm just going to use it at the end of this hallway here. Oh, we actually can't. Does that mean secret rooms here? It does. Apparently, brimstone bombs creates an obscene amount of spurred tears. It's pretty funny. So I will create my red door right here. Go. Okay, to the next floor. So we actually successfully managed to find a tear effect that affects our familiar, which is pretty awesome. We got piercing now, but we need more familiars. Yeah, if we just like plant a brimstone bomb, Spur just goes crazy. Look at, look at the amount of tears it creates. And those little stars will home in on enemies that are nearby. Okay, okay. I love the visual effect, like the flying that Spur gives. The transformation gives you like such a cool costume. Yeah, you can go away. I know your tricks. Single golden chest isn't quite worth my time. I mean, we're at the point now where we don't even need to use Box of Friends to be quite overpowered. I mean, we haven't needed it for a while, but we'll use it when it's there. I think there's a broken heart in here. Oh, no, it's one of these. I'll take that. Uh, but da, but da, but da. Unfortunately, we do have the slight... I wouldn't say it's an issue, but the slight thing of... Because we got Red Stew that gave us a massive damage up... Any other future damage ups aren't going to work, or at least not for a while, because um, the because of the way that Red Stew works, we've got to surpass that barrier of the amount of damage that Red Stew added before new damage can be added. It's like temporary versus real damage. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah. Anyways, we'll grab that. Be on our way. 
And this run has been quite the delight. Oh god. Ow. I did one great thing at the minute though. This planetarium item we got right at the start of the run is providing quite a lot of holy mantles. We've had quite a few. I think that's a really cool effect for an item. Like chan basically chance on hit to negate your next hit. I like that. As a planetarium item as well, it's quite fitting. Oh my lord. In come the souls. The Reaper of Souls. Away we go. I think I'm going to do Hush. Just more chances for items seems like a great idea. Also, I, I, I think we can more than handle it. It just depends how long it takes us to actually get to the boss. Because we might end up going the wrong way again here. I tend to do that a lot in the womb. As does everyone, to be honest. Good. Ooh, I will bomb this real quick. And get golden bombs, which probably doesn't matter for this floor, but still nice to have. Wrong way again. Happens all... I just... I don't know what it is about the womb. Maybe it's just because in the other floors, the special rooms at the end of a lot of hallways making it so that going the wrong way doesn't feel like you've gone the wrong way. Whereas in the womb, it's just a dead end. Like, there's, there's, there's very rarely anything worthwhile at the end of a dead end. So maybe it's to do with that, and it's like the perceived um, sort of notion of going the wrong way, whereas other floors doesn't really have that. That, that, that seems like what it, what it probably is, but it does seem like the womb is just, like, endless sometimes. Okay, so don't use my spacebar on this fight, because we want it for the hush. Go, Spode. <laughs> we'll check out our devil deal here. Two little brims? Hell yes. Eight-inch nails. Spinning wheel? Spinning wheel seems broken. Let's take that. Wait. I just had an idea. Yep, there you go. We don't even need to use spinning wheel. We just use it to give us the massive fire rate boost. Also, 10 cent for golden bombs. I've never seen that before. But I like it. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, spinning wheel's just going to give us a massive fire rate boost that never goes away. So we can just start firing and then there you go. And then Spurs going crazy as well. I bought golden bombs because bomb damage is good, but also brimstone bombs in this fight are very, very good. We have created something beautiful. I just wish we had a few more tier effects to really enhance this, but uh, as much as I wanted to showcase that mod, Rock Bottom's bot more so being the star of this show, hasn't it? What did I get hit by then? I mean, who knows at this point? Who even knows? This game is so laggy. Do you see how long it took that brimstone bomb to explode? Look at this wave of nails, it's beautiful. Ow! One of the brimstone bombs apparently exploded directly on top of me. I might genuinely die in this fight, because I just physically cannot um, see what the hell's going on. I can't avoid tears. Oh look, our little brother Bobby's are firing nail tears now. Little baby nails. Like, just look at how much damage we've done to him in this amount of time. This is, the FPS is just low as heck. I really thought, like, with Spurred, we'd be just annihilating him.
I mean, Spurred is doing a good job. You can see, like, if this was at full speed, full gameplay speed, this would be a very quick kill. No doubt about that. But with the lag, it feels like it's taking way longer. I'm just trying to get bombs in there whenever I can. I don't know if I even planted a bomb there. It's a little scary, because there's a very, very good chance that a bomb just gets stuck underneath all the trash that's underneath me. All the Spurred stuff, but I never really know. Okay, this attack is doomsday for us. There is no way I can dodge this actively. Look how sparing your little brim fires. That's how much lag you can that's how much you can like sort of see the lag. Brimstone bombs are, are really going hard though. I like that. Yeah, I've never seen the ability to buy golden bombs in a shop before. Was that just like luck of the draw that it was meant to be a bomb for sale, but it's a golden bomb? But then again, why would it cost 10 cent? I, I wouldn't I wonder what mod has added that ability. Cause or if it's an item, because I really like it. Get in there, Brimstone Bomb. Oh, God. Yeah, this this attack is... I don't know. I, I, I genuinely don't know if we can dodge this at all. I'm trying my best. Luckily, Mark means I can still shoot. Yep, I ran right into that. And it just lasts forever, too. It just never stops. What the hell? Where's that Brimstone Bomb going? Well then, that was an event. I, I got hit again right at the end of that. I think a brimstone bomb hit me. Right, stop firing, please. I think Spurred is really the thing that's kind of made this as much of a shit show as it currently is. I also never used my strength card for some weird reason. We've got it for a rainy day, I guess. so funny that I was looking for, um, I was looking for Kidney Stone, and I essentially got the equivalent in Spinning Wheel. Also, the double little brim pickup. Not needed, but pretty awesome. Just be very careful, because we are at very low health. Don't walk directly into the enemy is probably a, a good way to avoid taking damage. Despite the fact that I just did that. Like I said, we could, despite how good this run is, there is definitely potential for us to still die here. I'm going to try and play my best to make sure that doesn't happen. But I honestly can't sincerely say it won't. The amount of lag created from a brimstone bomb is pretty insane. Ah, oh, bloody! F the these are another enemy that their visual design is pretty bad. Like they're not they're not terrible looking. I think the sprite is actually pretty good, but they look like you can hit them while their head is down, like the flesh hurst, but you can't. It's the same goes for those mind ones. Can be thrown. No, thank you. Kind of annoying because I do want that, but I also want my keys. I'll I'll do it and I'll just go back and grab one of the many keys that I've left on the floor. I think we're going the right way here. Looks like it at least. Another key. I wonder how quickly we're gonna end up killing the boss here. It's unfortunate, because if, if I hold fire to move, then my tears go all over the place, because they start spin-wheeling. But if I just tap and then, like, leave my cursor wherever I want it, they don't. So it's, I, I've kind of got a way out of the, the actual spinning effect. Because I was kind of thinking 
oh shit, is Mark just going to make the, the spinning wheel effect active all the time? Which I wasn't actually that pissed about if that had happened, because it still would have been very strong. But I kind of assumed that would be the case, but instead, because I'm not holding the fire keys, once I actually get my uh, cursor into the position I want it, which is relatively easy because it's normally just middle of the room, then I can just leave it be. I can't believe he managed to get away from that. Is he going to get another teleport off? No, not quite. Right. What items do you hold for me, chest? What majesty do you befall upon me? Some good stuff. Tough love. Chemical peel. That. And the razor. Tough love's definitely the better one, I think. Tough love is going to affect our familiars as well. Ow. Got hit immediately. Skatol's kind of like whatever. It's not that good for us, but it's better than a quarter, really, isn't it? Right, just remember we have the strength card if we need it. Okay, this is bad. There's troll bombs that we just cannot see or control. I don't know why some of the nails are bloody and some of them aren't. Is that like a normal effect of nine inch of eight inch nails? Or is that like special? Or is, is, is there something that's doing that? I think the knockback from eight inch nails is kind of screwing us a bit here. You gotta take tiny planet with this, don't you? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Like these dudes. These are the dudes I was talking about. They're flesh heads. They literally you can literally see the brain. I I'm this this guy's trapped in here with me. I, 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 I can't escape him. Yeah, he's like got off, he's got flesh, but you have to wait for him to open to hit him, which I just find bizarre. Visually, at least. My lord. The ultimate swarm. I can't tell if Brother Bobby's tears are... Uh, tiny planeting as well, but I think they are. Because if I fire straight look, none of the tears are, are coming out of the orbit, so I believe Brother Bobby uh, is also getting the tiny planet effects, which is just really funny. Horrible room. Thank God it's over. Oh, shit. You game. It just made me take Care Stye. Oh, Continuum. I did not want to take Care Stye very clearly. I didn't even see it was there. Got this for the multicoloredness of it all. I just wanted some purple tears is all. Oh my god. <laughs> there's a there's a mod out there that I need to get where it's called like anti-lag where you can press a button and it just deletes all player tears on screen. Um, I should really go and grab that just for situations like this. Like when I'm moving between rooms, just deleting all the tears. I I can't even see my character. I barely know what's going on. Like I, I've stopped firing now. Sometimes I don't get how certain things survive. That Bernie was alive way too long there. How are we not at the boss yet? God damn. I love the fact that Spurred gets the continuum visual effect as well.
pop our strength cards as well, why not? There you go. It has been done. Beautiful. What a crazy run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.